So we are enjoying ourselves here listening to all this banjo music at the Banjo Jam Orama. We're at the courtyard by Marriott. Joining us now is Carol and Linda. Tell us what this is all about. Three days of banjo. This is people from all over the West Coast, and we even have someone who's come from Japan to come and play this music that we love on the four string banjos. So there is informal playing and also scheduled performances all weekend. This is everything banjo that you ever wanted. You not only have these jam sessions, but you have classes. So for people who are starting out, uh, they can learn from some of the best, right, Linda? We have workshops going on during the, the morning and afternoon for people that would like to play and, and learn some interesting things about the banjo. Now you guys were saying you're some of the younger members of the local band. Um, you've been nine years, you said. You've yeah. been how many years? I've been playing for four years. What's the most challenging thing about playing the banjo? Uh, the speed in which you have to do everything. So it's a lot of movement and you really have to memorize everything. And then there is no speed that's too fast when you're playing banjo. I love it. You have a member here who's 91, you say? Yes, John Green. And the Banjo Jamarama is actually dedicated to him. He's been a major force in banjo music in Northern California. You know, banjo is not one of those instruments that, you know, people go, gosh, you know, everyone in my neighborhood is playing the banjo. It's so, it's really important to preserve the history. It, I mean, because really nothing says Americana like this, right? Absolutely. And there is a difference in the way that we play and the instruments that we play. We're playing four string banjos, which are basically strummed. What people typically see are five string banjos that play the bluegrass music and are uh, picking. But this is a very different style. These banjos are mostly built in the 1920s, so the banjos themselves are vintage instruments. Now, someone was saying some of these really are quite expensive. How expensive are we talking? Well, there are there is a, a banjo here that's probably worth a couple hundred thousand dollars, made by Renee Carnes. And you were saying playing them um, really is is a, a real treat. And I was saying something like driving a Ferrari for banjo players, right? Absolutely. Some of these are so much fun, and they're all so different. So it's not they're not mass produced. So they're each one has its own sound and own look. Well, I love it, and thank you so much for having us. And people can still come out you want people to come out really enjoy it maybe pick up a banjo habit right we can always use more members what time how long does this run uh, this the show starts today at 1 30 and all afternoon and then again this evening at 6 30 and then tomorrow again at 11 30 till 5 and i hear these banjo players play all into the night if you know what i mean they love playing their banjos all right back to you guys i thought she was gonna play for no, us me too it also says free